the clips, we're going to talk about the proper way to repack, grease, and adjust your vehicle's wheel bearings. In this clip, we're going to talk about removal of the cotter pin, retaining cage, and retaining nut uh, for your vehicle's wheel bearings. Um, there have been a million tools designed for removal of cotter pins. What I have found that works the best is just a pair of side cuts. I'm taking, you can see the top of my cotter pin right here. It's going to be bent over on the bottom. Not a big deal. Uh, these side cuts will grab a hold of that pin tough enough that I'll be able to just pry it right out and not even have to mess with straightening it. I'm going to take and grab a hold of my cotter pin, get a good grip on it, and apply downward leverage. You can see how it come out some. Take and re-grip on it, apply some more downward leverage. That is removal of your cotter pin. Anytime you take one of these out, my professional opinion, it should be replaced. Uh, this is your retaining nut. The cotter pin slides through one of these tabs and keeps this nut from unscrewing. Yeah, there you go. And that is the proper way to remove the retaining nut, your castle, and your cotter pin. 